Building the Pike 29 Memorial track through the bush in the Paparoa Mountains has been an epic project. To sculpt the track into this landscape, my team and I have spent almost three years wrestling machines through the mud or balancing them precariously over cliffs. We've been hanging out of harnesses to pack rock faces with explosives and blast through, all the while raging storms smash into us which have had enough force to snap 50 meter high beech trees like matchsticks. Slips continually washed out the track and came down on the construction site crushing machinery. On the Paparoa side, machinery was washed away down raging rivers. At other times we were digging our gear out of snowdrifts. We were living in a little bivy site deep in the bush that would shake all night through the storms and was only being held to the ground by strops. The construction site was so remote that all supplies needed to be brought in and out by helicopter. Sometimes it felt like an army operation to get the men, machinery and supplies in and out by helicopter all while juggling the short gaps in between the relentless storms. Undertaking construction work up here has been the most extreme project I've been a part of and is likely to be a highlight of the careers of all the guys who made it happen. My team were the Bush Warriors, Milty, Logan, Felix and myself. Every week we would head into the wilderness to push the track a few hundred metres further and emerge a week later, covered in mud, stinking like seals, with the clothes in tatters and skin potmarked by sandfly bites. This video is to give you a taste of our three years deep in the bush, surrounded by kaka, kia, kiwi, falcons, and almost every native species that is still left. It was a really unique site to work at. The Pike 29 Memorial Track connects from the Pike River Mine to the Moonlight Hut on the Paparo Track. It begins at the mine buildings and makes its way 14 kilometres up and along the Pike Ridge and looks down over the mine entrance and ventilation shaft where the accident happened and was built to be a living memorial to the disaster. It then links up with the Paparo Track that was being built by other crews at the same time and connects the tiny communities of Punakaiki to Blackpool. To work in such a remote and hostile environment, the camaraderie of the crews was essential. The guys needed to get on well and be able to deal with the conditions. Strong bonds were forged between the team members who all looked out for each other with such high risk work being carried out in such an isolated location. The guys still underground from the 2010 mining disaster weighed heavily on the crew members and we were determined to get through the project accident free. We achieved this by following strict health and safety protocols and I'm proud to say that the worst injury sustained by my crew in three years of working on the track was one twisted ankle.
We built the track with the environment in mind and only removed trees if absolutely necessary. All trees went through a verification process and where possible, alternative options were taken. The effect of conserving trees can be observed from the air where the track can only be seen through the canopy in a few isolated places. One of the things that we needed to consider during the planning was biosecurity. It was important that no foreign species arrive in the national park. Paparoa is a pristine environment and we absolutely want to keep it that way. And it's quite easy for seeds to get hidden in supplies or in the tracks of a digger. Every single piece of equipment that came in had to go through a quarantine process and be checked over and cleaned thoroughly to be made safe for biosecurity before it was helicoptered to site. Pike 29 Memorial Track was built by a crew of passionate mountain bikers and track builders who had international experience on other mountain bike track projects. The track passes through a remote region on New Zealand's wild, sparsely populated and inhospitable west coast. The Paparoa Mountains are battered by storms year round and receive 7 metres of rain annually. This climate creates an immaculate ecosystem, with epiphytes and mosses growing everywhere and out of everything. We surgically cut the track to bypass trees and avoid environmental damage while retaining a playful mountain bike feel. It was crafted into the landscape to weave and float in and around trees and other natural features, instead of using old methods of clear felling ahead and cutting straight lines behind. This technique afforded the dual benefits of leaving a minimal impact on the environment while keeping riders engaged and enjoying the track. From the highest point on the Pike 29 Memorial Track begins an uninterrupted 8.5km downhill with 800m elevation loss which finishes at the Pike Mine buildings. The Paparoa Track, which links with the Pike 29 Memorial Track, has stunning views from the escarpment and passes through a unique low-lying coastal rainforest. It was built with walkers in mind although both tracks accommodate walkers and bikers.
This video is not associated with any organization or department and is not an official release. It's just a montage of footage and words by the guys who built the track. This project was more than just a job, and from the Butch Warriors as we brought this track into existence, we invite you to come and check it out. Check out the video above or linked in the description below from when I abandoned Milton and Felix in the snow during the winter of 2019 and buggered off to the Cook Islands. Otherwise consider giving this video a share, a like or subscribe.